Hey Jeff. Okay, yeah. So we have the contact page. All right. So what we're going to do is scroll down to about halfway or so. And the first thing I'm going to get you to do is actually now Google has changed their maps a whole lot. <coughs> Watch this. I'll show you. Let's pull up a new page here. Go to uh, Google Maps and boom. And um, hopefully you can customize this. Um, but basically what you do is you go to your map, um, probably create a map. Okay, be your best thing. And then when you've done that, like my maps, uh, create a map and then you can try and modify it with pins and whatnot. Okay, but anyways, once that's done, go back to uh, share or embed map. Okay, and then you should be able to hit embed map and just copy this right here. Go back to expression web and see this iframe right here? Just do a select tag and delete it. And then for this, uh, all this other string of stuff in here, this a tag right here, select tag and delete. But basically what we're going to do is just get rid of the, the break, the small, and the small, and end up with just a div of a row. Okay? And in the middle there, paste in the new stuff. Look at the size of the new stuff. It's tiny. So your width is going to be 100%, and then that's it. You're done. But look at everything else. All the other information is just... Right? So you'll probably need to create your own map, and you'll just do a... Um, to do the pins and stuff, do actually do a Google search on that one. I, I'm not sure how to do that anymore with this new map process. I haven't done one myself, so. Uh, but you can definitely copy the code in and then create your own map, and it'll add more strings and bits and pieces of code in here uh, if you have uh, the map coordinates and stuff like that. But um, as of the last time I did a map, which was about a week ago, like when I did a video like this, I wasn't able to create the pins, so I don't know what's going on with that, uh, but hopefully we'll find out soon.